William Wade, thank you very much for, for joining us. And um, you spent, uh, if I remember correctly, 38 months in Vietnam, is that right? Correct. So that's a lot longer than, than most people spend in Vietnam. Um, it's not too uncommon to talk to veterans who serve maybe a total of 24 months. I don't think I've ever spoken to anyone who spent as long in Vietnam as you did. So you were with the, the Army Security Agency. So can we start with that? What, what basically was the, what was the basic purpose of the Army Agency, the Army Security Agency in, in Vietnam? Uh, it'd be an uh, electronic uh, uh, um, uh, direction finding and finding of, of, and locating the enemy by electronic means. Yeah. Uh, in other words, high speed Morris intercept. Uh, that was the, the primary, uh, well, the primary uh, yeah. purpose of what we did. Sure. And so, you know, as I, mentioned to you, uh, the Army Security Agency uh, uh, entered Vietnam in May of 1961. And yeah. uh, so that's, a lot of people don't know the, the, what uh, our primary purpose was, you know, intel uh, acting. So anyway. Yeah, yeah, gathering intelligence. And so is this that you're intercepting enemy radio transmissions and then locating where they are? Correct. Yeah. Correct. Now, my understanding is that um, the, it, it, in terms of, uh, of you know, uh, the official word, according to the official word, the Army Security Agency actually was not in Vietnam. Is that is that right? Well, at, it, at uh, that time. Well, you mean cease to exist? Well, no, just just that that the government. Um, my my understanding is that if if you were actually with the Army Security Agency when you were in Vietnam, you 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 wouldn't say that. You would say that you were no, with no radio we, research we worked or something. Under, we uh, worked under a cover, and yeah. it was uh, originally it was the Third RRU, uh, and uh, and it converted converted to the 509th Radio Research, and we called it you know radio research and uh, so anyway that was a uh, what like I said from May of 61 to uh, uh, April of 75 so like when it was all over yeah when when did you actually go to Vietnam for the first time yourself July 1966 July 66 and then you spent 38 months in Vietnam and traveled throughout the throughout the country. Correct. Well, so were uh, you were you in and out all the time? The what, sir? Were you were you in and out of Vietnam, or were no. you, did you did you? No. No. Yeah. Uh, I was there from July of '66 to July of '68. You know, and it was more that maybe about 25 months. Yeah. And then I, I had a PCS. I was trying. Uh, Went to Japan and uh, was there and I volunteered to go back because uh, the whole my whole story is I volunteered to go, volunteered to stay, and volunteered to go back at a later day. But so um, anyway, you know, hey, we, yeah. we, uh, we had a job to do and we were damn good at it. So, and, and let's 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 talk about these things. So what why did you what was it about the job that that made you want to volunteer to stay and then to volunteer to go back? Like what I was doing, and, and it was you know I, I didn't have to stay, I didn't have to go back, but you know I, but that's where that's where the action was. And so yeah. you know he wanted, I mean I had to do I had to do the time uh, one way or the other. Yeah. So so uh, let's go let's let's go back to where the uh, where we you know got some. I mean I, I like in Japan. Well, our target was uh, the Russians, and uh, mm. the, when I was in Germany, the target was the Russians. So I worked the Russian if, uh, if, uh, from two sides of the world, two oceans. 
Wow. Anyway, yeah, yeah. so this, you know, sure. So, you know, ultimately, ultimately, we work for NSA, which is a National Security Agency. Yeah. Anyway, oh, that was an ultimate control. But uh, so I was in the army, but I wasn't in the army. It's kind of, but it was a, I, I guess, the closest thing I can re relate to it. We, we were the bye bye black sheep of the Vietnam era. Uh, what does that mean? Tell us what that means. Well, we worked hard, we played hard, and whatever. So, hmm. uh, like I said, we were in the army, but we 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 didn't do the uh, the army, the, you know, army uh, thing and whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, what 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 would when you're in Vietnam, what would a uh, what would a typical mission be like? So you, 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 what, what kind of plane do you go up in and then what are you doing when you're in the air? Well, we had uh, primarily on, on that, that book I, I told you about, Unlikely Warriors, yeah. is that uh, that's depicting uh, RU-8D, which is a, a beach baron that had uh, radial direction finding intercept and, and, uh, on it, and uh, location. So yeah. uh, that was the one I, I spent the most, I did the most hours in, in, in the three years I was there. There's only one aircraft the ASA had that I didn't fly in, and that was a, um, we called it, it was a, um, oh gosh, I forgot the name. Uh, anyway, I just went blank on it. Yeah. But anyway, there was only one. And yeah. so. But when, when, you, when you were in the air then, now you were enlisted. When, when you were in the air, what, what was your job? What were you doing in the air? Well, first of all, we find, you know, find an acquisition of a target. The next thing we do is, uh, you know, get a fix, location, you know. So, uh, anyway, that was, that was it. So you and then, uh, in my final months, uh, after we moved, to, moved from Da Nang to Fubai, uh, I did, uh, uh, North Vietnamese uh, voice intercept. Anyway, yeah. But, uh, so, so you're picking up radio transmissions. You're getting a fix on where they are, and then, um, and then you're what you're relaying that information to what, a, a navy ship or okay. some other place. That, to do it. That, that that intel would be passed on up to higher commands and what all. And could you know it could be that, uh, in if you got the right, you know, the, a high priority target, there could be a um, B fifty two strike called arc light yeah. as a result of that, and or or it could be artillery or whatever. So, how how anyway. how how, how, uh, how quickly could that go? Let's say you send in a fix on a on a target. You've 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 intercepted the radio transmissions. You've got the fix. You send the information. How how I mean, how quickly could that be done? How quickly could they send in a fire mission on that target? All depending on the target and, yeah. and uh, the priority of, uh, of, of who it was. And, and uh, it, it could be mm, 30 minutes. Wow. Could be. Did, did you ever witness witness a target hit by fire that, that you'd, you'd called in? No. You no, I didn't. Nothing. Did. But I've saw, you know, I've witnessed uh, numerous B-52 strikes, though. Wow. Now, what, what kind of elevation are you flying at? About 2,500 feet. Um, so pardon my ignorance here, but um, is, is that, I mean, did you have to, was ground fire much of a concern? It could. We, when we had, you know, I guess a select group of people that, uh, or uh, survive crashes. We, I, I think there's, I don't remember any uh, in, in the fixed wing. We, we lost several aircraft that have been shot out in the, the rotary in the Project Left Bank, oh. which I've been a, a, a pioneer. I was one of the initial people to uh, work in Project Left Bank. We came back to the United States, you know, to perfect that. And I worked out of uh, Lakehurst Naval Air Station in New Jersey. And so anyway, 
Yeah, yeah. Did, did, do you know if, if any of the planes you're on ever actually received any flack? I know some that were, were not me personally. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. How, how long did you serve in the Army altogether? Six and a half years. Wow. I mean, so a good chunk of that is you're actually in country over in Vietnam. Yeah. 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 Well, anyway, it was uh, on March of 64 to uh, July of 1970. Yeah. When, when you look All back on, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, when, when you look go back, ahead. when you look back on, on your time in Vietnam today, um, what, what, what does your service in Vietnam mean to you today? Well, I, I, I felt like I was, you know, up, uh, making a, uh, a, an effort to uh, uh, help my country, but yeah. uh, it, it it wasn't a total waste. I mean, you know, the, the, the main thing is about people don't understand. Unless we intended to make it to the first state, we had to come home, and that's uh, so anyway. Yeah. So what you you mean like you know after the war just went on after you know as it kept going on, you know we just needed to realize that, that you know well, it, it was time if to you don't intend, if, if you don't intend to win, don't go. That's yeah. I mean there, there's fifty eight thousand names on that on that plot, on that wall, and, and a lot of them were it was unnecessary unnecessary deaths. And uh, so they, but yeah. but I mean I. I I can say I feel like it wasn't a total waste. There were some good things that came out of it, but uh, there was also some negative uh, actions or, yeah. or reactions. What, what What would you say are some of the good things that came out of it? Well, I mean, militarily, I mean, we uh, we did a lot of experimenting there in Vietnam. That was the uh, the start of a of a lot of uh, programs and. Uh, so, oh, like uh, programs that help the people there. Well, I mean, uh, the uh, uh, military programs that came out later. I mean, I can't you know, specifically name them, but I do know that there was uh, uh, militarily there was some because it was a, a start of of, of, the, of these programs that they had, which were later incorporated into the Black Hawks and and what all so on and so forth yeah it, yeah it certainly certainly was a was a learning experience what are some of the negative things you think that came out of the war well introduction to drugs you know uh, uh, that, that was a negative thing and there were some medical uh things that happened and what all that that uh i was thinking were we, we brought home or, or yeah. people I, the main thing i would say would be that uh, the and negative attitude about about uh, the war or, or the Vietnam era, yeah, and uh, also the fact that about the introduction, of, a lot of people got into, introduced to, uh, to uh, marijuana and other drugs. Mm. So I mean, that's uh, yeah. I didn't. I mean, me personally, my my security clearance made a lot more to me. And, and, and so I avoided anything that would maybe jeopardize. Yeah. That. Yeah. Anyway, the, the fact that, that our intel, uh, the only, I had access to anything there was. The only exceptions, there were two, was eyes only and need to know. And beyond that, that I, I didn't have any limitations. Yeah, yeah. Have you been to the Vietnam Memorial? Yes, I have. Are there are there names on the memorial you know? Yes. Are you able to to give me one or two of those names? Well, there's a, I don't remember the colonel's name. It's in the Air Force that I had some contact with, and and uh, we say he bought the farm in Laos. In and, Laos. Uh, Shot down in uh, Laos. And I knew a 
uh, and James T. Davis, which is according to Lyndon Johnson, and uh, it, it's that, that site you saw uh, about old spooks and spies, it'll show Davis Station there at Tonsonute there in Saigon. That's who the, according to Lyndon, was the first uh, American service uniform man to, to, to die. And that would be, be in December 22nd, 1961. And uh, I knew a, a captain I'd worked with. Uh, he was with the first cab. I mean, I, I'm, I'm more, I mean, I'm more of so many patches. Because, uh, you know, we, tra you know, we transferred. Uh, they find, well, you're, you need to be. I was with the first cab. I was Mac V. I was with Fourth, fourth ID. And, and uh, so anyway. Hmm. But, I, but we, you know, we, officially, we were not there. We, our fact, we, I couldn't wear the ASA patch anyway until okay. later. Yeah. So if somebody asked you who you were with, you would say you were with the radio research. Do what, sir? If, if, if someone, if, when you were there, if somebody asked you what outfit you were with, you would say radio research. Well, yeah, I'll tell them it's specific, you know, who you be the 509th Radio Research Group, and then under that, you know, uh, but everything had parent RR, parent clothes. Yeah. Parent, the, the RR was for Radio Research. Right. Um, uh, uh, all your orders and everything else. Yeah. So anyway, wow. but then. When you, so I, this this is actually the, the, la the last question. Um, when you see veterans, you know, at the store or some other place with the Vietnam veterans hat on, do you, do you try to talk to them just to find out where? Sure. They yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your service. I mean, I mean, I did, you know, but I'm, they, 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 they also, everybody had a, uh, maybe a different job but anyway, but normally I can talk to a veteran. I can know if he knows what, what's going on, you know, he's actual genuine. So, yeah. But anyway, but, uh, yeah. Well, sir, Mr. Wade, I really appreciate you, you taking the time. You're, to, quite, you're quite welcome, Dr. Jones.